and say because they want to help develop young developer talent google will be american multinational technology company don't establish plus they don't officially open the google developers space where entrepreneurs or developers plus investors fit to connect to take a collaborate with each other our correspondent adibanke odunui she get the details Google will be American multinational technology company where they specialize for internet-related service plus product. They officially declare the developer space where they open for Lagos, Nigeria. The space has been they established to give place where entrepreneurs, developers plus investors are fit to connect plus collaborate with themselves. Today we're launching the Google Developer Space. It's part of a two face commitment that was made by Sundar, the CEO of Google, when he came to Nigeria in 2017. The first part of the commitment was to open the Launchpad Accelerator program and to support over 60 startups from across the continent through training, through mentorship with Google's processes, Google's um, network and Google's technologies. The second part was to develop a space to house the program and support the developer community that we have on the continent. And the platform where they newly open, the name them as the way we must digitalization literacy fit the develop. This Google space is providing a platform for people to prepare themselves to be digitalized. A platform where young people, older people can come and train themselves. And Federal Ministry of Communication plus a digital economy promised to encourage that type of initiative. The ministry continues to provide and support ventures like this with good policies regulations to encourage their businesses to grow. The minister is always working on, you know, policies that would drive this sort of thing. And to take rich potential developers for the rural area, the name am, as I say, it they very, very casually important to the organization. Definitely, there is life outside of the cities, right? And we're very conscious of that. It, we want our impact to be felt, not just in major cities like Lagos, Nairobi, Johannesburg, but also across the various countries we operate in. So in Nigeria, for example, and in other parts of Africa, we have uh, different groups and communities that can help to take the learning to the grassroots. And the architect for this space, Yan, on top of the importance for design on top to do Ubunga creativity. One thing that's very important is in this part of the world, people don't prioritize design. They don't prioritize the intellectual property of design, right? They see it as an aftermark, afterthoughts. But think of everything you do every day, right? From the cars you're driving, the glasses you wear, to the bags, everything is designed for a purpose. So when you look at what architects do for spaces, we are now in a place where we are saying we want to design to influence business processes, whether it's to recruit, whether it's to retain your staff, to drive productivity, innovation, collaboration, to even drive the bottom line of your business. And it is commendable to see, say, multinational companies like Google, they put fire for their efforts inside the develop for African young talent. Grassroots companies, they encourage to take the same waka. Now, Debanke Odunui get this report.